And hello! Today we're going to be looking at a super cool contraption that I came up with for my survival world and it is a redstone powered hidden fireplace trapdoor. So how it works is you click this button here and then the pistons retract giving you a little bit of time to plop down the hole before they push back and then the dispensers relight the nether rack there so no one would ever know. Um, of course what you could do is you know put a secret tunnel under here so you could just drop down into a hidden basement area or whatever it is that you're needing um, and yeah it's not the most compact design um, and that's mainly because I'm not the best redstoner in the world um, but uh, this is what I came up with and it does the job it's not ridiculously huge you can kind of see what's going on here like some of you will be able to work out what's going on just from me sort of flying around it um, but if not if you're still looking at this thinking oh god how the hell am I going to build this then I'll be doing a tutorial so let's crack on with that Okay, so before I start, here is a list of the stuff that you will need for this. So you need a button, a redstone torch, just under a stack of redstone dust, 10 redstone repeaters, 4 sticky pistons, 4 dispensers, 4 pieces of nether rack, some building blocks, you shouldn't need more than a stack, and then the flint and steels to fill it up your dispensers. You need 4 minimum. Um, but of course you could you know, fill up the dispenser with nine each and then you don't have to worry about them running out um, and your fire not relighting after you've popped through. So that's what you need. I'll show it there again so you can pause it if you need it. And now that's done, let's get on with the tutorial. Alright guys, so you want to start off with a 12 by 10 area and on the the long side, so the side where there's 12, you want to count in four, so one, two, three, four, and then redstone on the next four, and then there should be four on the other end, so the redstone's in the middle. And then you want to go in on the middle two blocks, in again, and up a block. And then you want redstone dust, redstone dust, repeater, repeater, into these blocks, and then that will power the dispensers that will sit on top of those blocks like that. So that is your dispenser unit done. And then you'd obviously repeat this on the other side. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Block in, block in, block in, block in, block up, block up, and get rid of these two underneath. Redstone dust, redstone dust, repeater into the blocks, and the dispenser on top. Just like that. So you'll notice you've got a two by two hole in the middle there and then that will be where your nether rack sits once you've built these sticky piston modules which we'll move on to now. So for those you want to do a similar sort of thing but as that side's shorter you go one, two, three, four redstone, one, two, three and then you go in a block, in a block and then build up there temporary block, sticky piston down, pointing inwards, sticky piston down, you can now get rid of that block redstone dust, redstone dust, and repeater, repeater, running into these pistons. Now you want to put these repeaters on a two, sorry, a three tick delay, which means you click it twice, and then that will give you time from when you push your button, they'll retract, you can walk over, drop down your hole, all is good. And you want to repeat that on the other side as well. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, block in, block in, block in, block in, build one up, temporary block, sticky piston, sticky piston, get rid of that block there, redstone dust, redstone dust, and repeaters set to three ticks running into the sticky pistons. And that is the basis of this done. You know, we've got most of, this is all the sort of wiring, so now all we have to do is link it all up together, put the nether rack on, which I can do now, so your nether rack will sit on these sticky pistons, so when they are extended, they'll be in these gaps. And so now what you want to do is um, link it up. But on these corner bits, you'll have to put a block on top to cut the wires, if you like. 
so that it doesn't um, all get a bit confused. So we'll go round like this, putting blocks where we need them. Redstone block, and then follow this all the way around. Make sure you're chopping off those wires, like so. And then that is all linked up. So now, all you need to do is, depending on where you want your input, you want to bring a redstone wire out and redstone here, not here, sorry, the block with a redstone dust on the top and then a redstone torch on the side like that to have it inverted because you obviously, okay, because you're going to want these stuck out all of the time. Now, you can see that the redstone line doesn't reach all the way, so if you go where these repeaters are and put a repeater down with no ticks, um, you know, a one tick, then that will just carry it round and power all of it. Looks like we need another one here. Oh, the one before. And that is all powered now. So yeah, just check for signal length when you're doing that. Um, that there and then to toggle it you just need a simple button like that um, you can obviously you want to cover these pistons up so you can do that by by way of blocks or if you want what I did uh, when I built it was put more dispensers around just to you know hide the fact that I was using the dispensers for something and make it look like they were there just for decoration um, but obviously that's up to you when you do your build and then we just want to uh, fill these up with flint and steels and this should be working so if we click the button here ooh, pistons retract and that didn't work okay yeah you've got to put these on a delay as well that's what I forgot to do oops so now ooh, they retract they get pushed back in and the dispensers fire occasionally this happens um, it happened on that one over there but as you can see you know I clicked it again and then all four of them were lit so it just really sort of depends I don't know it seems to get a little bit temperamental you can try fiddling with the timings here um, if we put the pistons on one so I don't think it's the design um, like I say I've built it and it's worked absolutely beautifully there we go so if you have the sticky pistons on one tick and the dispensers on three then you shouldn't have any problems but yeah so that is my hidden fireplace trapdoor I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as best as quickly as I can and with hopefully, you know, a good answer. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. This has been Cadence Cadence and I'm out.